Come with me, let me show you our just concluded 3.5 kV solar energy system. Is the whole package. I will be explaining everything in details. So to watch the remaining video, you have to uh, go to my YouTube handle at uh, Noel007 to watch the full video. First, here we have an 80 amp MPPT solar charge controller, a MOS brand. But we, so before I talk about the charge controller, I'll first talk about the solar panels. On the roof, we have uh, four units of uh, 500 watt solar panels generating two kilowatt of energy per hour. This charge controller is an ATM, like I said earlier, most MPPT. The maximum input voltage is 145 volts, and this charge controller is a uh, battery voltage adaptive. That means it can work from 12 to 14 volt system. So it automatically uh, adapts to whatever voltage you give to it. So our connection on the panels on the roof is two series because we have a two unit uh, we have four units of 500 watts connecting everything in series will generate over 200 uh, volts and that will be too high for a charge controller so we did two in series two in series parallel and give it two uh, for charge controller come closer so if you can see it's blinking telling us that our battery is charging on the roof we got 96 volt coming from our solar panels but coming down you know there will be loss of voltage so we lost about 10 volts so we are getting uh 88 86.5 volts coming to our solar charge controller and then the solar charge controller does the conversion and give to the battery this charge controller also comes with a fan to keep the system cool because whenever MPPT works or whenever MPPT is working, there are tendencies that there will be high temperature. So fan is always imbued to keep the system cool. And this chart controller have a uh, battery reverse protection. For example, if you miss interchange the polarity, that means you put positive or negative and negative on positive, the charge controller will not get burnt. Though I didn't try it. So I'm not asking you to try it, but that is one of the feature this charge controller have this charge controller also works with different types of battery whether your gel whether your your lithium whether your tubular which is your flood it works very well with them you can just go to the settings and select the type of battery you are using on the breaker box contain two things first on the left is uh, our spd that is surge protective device to protect this whole system from lightning then here we have a dc circuit breaker whenever there is lightning uh, and high voltage drops this spd will cause a bridge then this will trip off that is a work of this coming down here we have a 30 amp avs avs is automatic voltage system why we use this is because this inverter have the ability of charging through the grid it doesn't just combat what the battery stores and give alternating current it also combat alternating current back into direct current to charge our battery bank that is why we apply this AVS here to protect the inverter from high voltage or from under voltage coming from our grid because mostly in Nigeria, uh, in some area, grid is not stable. So we do use this AVS to protect the inverter from high voltage or under voltage. So like I said, this is a 3.5 kV uh, 24 volt inverter transformer and it's pure sine wave. So it's compatible with any type of electronics or any type of your household gadget. We have our manual changeover. The reason for this manual changeover is at times the light may be too low, that's the grid. Because inverter produces stable output, which is a 220 volt. It's always stable. It doesn't fluctuate. So the output is stable. But whenever there is grid and uh, the AVS passes the grid to the inverter, if uh, the frequency is too low, the inverter will not allow the output to pass so you cannot use your manual changeover that is the reason for this manual changeover this is its Seaworth uh, LiPo 4 battery and this is 5 kilowatt. this is two times the size of uh, two, two, uh, 200 amps tubular battery or 200 amps gel and this is a 24 volt here it has a screen it's not showing that the battery is running that means the battery is on and everything is working fine it has a soft touch here which if you touch it it will display the battery uh, voltage it will display the battery bar and it will also display the battery temperature so let's touch it and see you just touch it is soft touch so you can see it's showing that our battery is full from the battery bar and our temperature is at 3.6 degrees celsius then let's see the voltage that it's giving 
27.3 volt which is a float charge and one thing i like about this battery is that once it's on the floor it's not it doesn't have tire so you don't have to move up and down or you don't have to be afraid of your cable getting slack if i try to pull it it will be very hard for me to pull this up because it's already stationed to the ground so this is a very good idea but there is one thing i would like seawalls to work on which is uh, the breaker switch which is in here that means if you want to trip this battery off you have to lose this cover to access the switch so it would be a good idea if somebody can just access the switch from somewhere here for this light 4 battery have five years warranty and is expected to deliver eight to 15 years lifespan so this is a full set of 3.5 kv solar energy system you can see there is no impute we don't have grid right now so everything that will be showing you now is working from the inverter so the output is 220 volt our load is nine percent our battery is 27.8 volt our status is dc mode that means we are consuming from the battery so 